when I first bought this house, I had a little 1300, I think, PSI Black & Decker pressure washer. Um, late last fall, honestly, it kind of blew itself up. Um, the water input ruptured, wasn't worth fixing. I borrowed one. The owner of the one I borrowed just picked it up yesterday. I needed to replace it. So let me show you what I got. Okay, well, we have our box opener, otherwise known as a butter knife, and this is well taped all the way around, and there's the neighbor's dog. Well, I want to apologize, uh, the, I don't know how far I got in the unboxing and assembly before my camera cut out. But here it is assembled. I want to show you some of the interesting parts of assembly. I didn't even look at the manual to assemble it because it was so dead obvious. Um, the hose pushes into the handle and screws on. You just push it past the o-ring, screw it on hand tight uh, so it won't leak. The handle itself <clears throat> has this, I can't see my camera real well because of the sun, so yeah, there we go. And that keeps the handle from being pressed while you're working on the ends. The That's your quick connect for your, let me come around to the back side and show you the tips. Can you see those? So you've got soap, 40, 25. What did I say 15 and 0? And I'm sorry if I can't, if I'm not showing you this real well. Um, very hard to see the camera. Uh, there we go. These pivot like a vacuum cleaner. Um, there's where your cord goes. It doesn't, and I noticed this on the one I borrowed, they don't have a good place to store the uh, power block, so I just drag it up here and just hang it over um, this is your reel for the hose the gun holder this is the only through hole in the handle uh, the others are threaded right into the handle the nut you insert into the back of this run the uh, screw into it bolt it down um, i had to add this you know screw this on that's where your hose goes. It's got a mesh screen. That's where the soap goes, which I'm not going to use today. I will use it when I go to clean the car. Um, I don't know if you can see in there. There's a low stop and high pressure setting. And then the other dial is your amount of soap. The stop is basically off. Um, it has a ground fault interrupter, which I never understood. There's no ground pin. I don't know how that works. So let's take it out to the uh, driveway and see if we can't clean with it. First things first. Water is connected. Power is not. Let's go turn the water on this faucet. All right. Water's going. Yes, I really need to clean up my flower beds. Okay, water's in. Let's power this up. A good demonstration of the pressure washer's function. The birds in the tree next to my driveway have had a little, um, well, problem. I need to clean this off the car. The tank on the pressure washer has been given some uh, soap. I'm just using the uh, standard 
turtle wax car wash. Um, just car wash liquid with wax in it. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, turn it on to high and let it pressure up. I already have the 15 degree wand on it. We're going to uh, wet it, you know, try to pressure blast it. And then we're going to soap it. And then we're going to rinse it. So we have the uh, 15 degree nozzle and it's oriented straight up and down. And we're just blasting the uh, bird leavings straight off of the car. Okay, that's good and wet. We set the handle in the lock position and take, pull the collar on the quick disconnect out and draw the tip out. We take our soap tip, click it on the end, change our setting on the pressure to low. I'm going at about a third of the volume on soap. I've discovered this thing consumes soap at an alarming rate if you put it all the way up. There, we're good and soaped up. Lock the handle and click back. Now, I would have pressured up and wetted up the whole car and then soaped it up if I was just doing a normal car wash, but I'm just doing a demo here, so we're only doing part of the job. Turn the pressure off, turn the soap off, Take the 15 degree nozzle back, click it in, turn the pressure back to high, kick the lever off, and rinse. until the soap is no more. Long story short, this is turning out to be an invaluable tool for the house. I'm not sure it's up to snuff for professionals. Professionals really are gonna need a much higher pressure uh, gasoline powered unit. Um, I don't want the maintenance of the additional engine. For me, an electric is ideal, and actually for a lot of folks, electric is going to be really the only way to go. Um, I've had other electrics before that just aren't up to the same level of quality and usefulness as this machine here. So there are some quirks, uh, a couple in particular. I want to show you the hose in particular is rather stiff the pressure hose it has to be to be able to withstand the pressure but it's also very difficult to wind up you have to keep flipping the handle around to be able to keep it from getting all twisted funny on you it's a minor issue the connection I highly recommend that you go to the hardware store and buy quick disconnects. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I would go all with the same brand so they all fit correctly. I believe Gilmore is probably the most readily available, at least in my area. There's other brands. I'm going to get a Gilmore set because they're easily available and I've used them before. I had good luck with them. This coupler is very difficult once you've pressured the system. 
it's very difficult to get it to unscrew. Um, not sure why, but a quick disconnect will solve that problem. Lastly, the hose winder itself, it's just a big hook. Um, nothing necessarily wrong with that, other than, like I've already mentioned, the hose itself is very stiff and not super easy to wind up. Hey, deal with it. Uh, my procedure here is to power it off, turn the water off, and then squeeze out the handle and let the uh, pressure bleed off as best I can. Take the water hose connection off and then wrap the uh, cord and the uh, pressure hose up. So hopefully that's the information you need. And uh, well, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, remember. If you like my videos, remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to go back into the old catalog by clicking my channel and then clicking on the videos link. There's lots of decent stuff back there you may be interested in. And like I always say to you folks, be busy, be productive, be safe, but most of all, be blessed. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Thank you.